Michael Adisa with Crack Music. Thanks for joining us for today's Tuesday Tip, where we're going to learn how to play Feliz Navidad. It's uh, very much simpler than you may think. There's only two sections to the tune, and we can get through it with just four chords. Let's jump right in. The first chord you're going to need to learn how to play is an F major 7. You got F, A, C, and E. The next chord you're going to need to play is a G dominant 9. We're going to use this voicing here. This is F, A, B, and D. This is called a rootless voicing. There is no G in there, but uh, if you have a bass player, they will play that note, and you would hear that rich sound. The 9 is the note A. All right, very rich sound. Then we're going to go to a chord E minor 7. E, G, B, and D. All right, uh, this is actually serving as a C major 9. Okay, if that goes over your head, don't worry about it. Uh, as long as you can play the chords, you can play this song. Uh, but I'm going to put a C in the bass with an E major 7 chord. Now it is a C major 9. The major 9 is a D. All right, let's backtrack a little bit. We're going to just play F major 7. This is G9. E minor 7. Then we're going to go to this right here. This is an A minor 7 in second inversion. The notes from the bottom up is E. G, A, C. Now this chord has these same notes as a C6, which means this chord can serve as like a major, C major sound with an added sixth, or it can serve as a A minor. And you'll hear uh, bass players play off that and give you different roots at different times to lead into different places. Um, but that's all you need. Put it with the melody, it's gonna sound like this. Break that melody down for you. All right, that's G, C, B, C, A. Next part, G, most versions will show C, A, G. Uh, I prefer uh, G, D, B, A, G. All right, it's just a little different sound. Um, but you'll, you hear both out there. It depends on who's singing or playing. Uh, the next part is like the first part. All right, now we got F, A. To play the B section, you're going to start on a high C, I'm sorry, high E. All right, this outlines an A minor triad. This is the best way to remember it with a passing note D between the E and the C. All right, then the next part of the melody outlines a G major triad with a passing note between the bottom third. A connects the B to the G. All right, going back to that A minor outline. Now we're gonna walk down from D to B. Come back up. Or if you wanna put the turn in there. All right. So there's two chords I like to play to lead into the bridge. All right. This is a G minor rootless voicing. Drop a G in the bass. Notes are F, A, B flat, and D. Then we've got to change one note after that. Move your pinky down to C. Or, I'm sorry, your pinky down to E. Five, one 
in the key of F major, all right? So we are tonicizing the F chord. All right, so let's, now the, the way I'd recommend you playing this if you're a beginner, is I would just play a dotted quarter eighth rhythm, all right? One, two, three, four, one. I would love to see some of y'all take that ball and run with it. Actually, in the world of Christmas music, one of the more simple tunes, rhythmically complex, but you can struggle through it, but harmonically very simple, all right? Much less chords in this tune than a lot of other Christmas tunes. Best wishes. If you want to learn more, come see us at the crack. Thank you. <laughs>